Today we're taking a look at the Apple Watch Series 4 and see how it compares to Fitbit's top of the line Versa and figure out which one is the right smartwatch fitness tracker for you. Thanks for watching Apple Insider. Don't forget to hit that like button and be sure to hit subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you know when we upload new videos. Fitbit is mostly known for its fitness trackers, but it also offers products that border on being a smartwatch, such as the Versa. The Apple Watch Series 4, on the other hand, is generally considered a smartwatch first and a fitness tracker second. Now, when it comes to build quality, the Apple Watch comes in two different flavors. There's an aluminum variant, which is what most people buy, and there's also a more expensive version that is made out of stainless steel, which is more luxurious and arguably better looking. The Apple Watch also comes in three different colorways, silver, space gray, and gold. Now, the Fitbit Versa is crafted out of an aluminum casing as well, but they don't offer a stainless steel option and it only comes in black and silver. Now both are incredibly well made and you won't be disappointed with either device. Apple also offers two different size options at 40mm and 44mm whereas the Fitbit only offers one. And to cap it all off, Apple offers an LTE version for the Series 4 where you can use the watch independently and leave your phone at home. While design may be similar in some ways, the displays are a completely different story. The Versus screen looks outdated when compared next to the Apple Watch Series 4. It's not a terrible screen by any means, it's big enough to see all your information and text is legible, but the Apple Watch's OLED display and higher resolution screen looks a lot nicer with better color reproduction, deeper blacks, and less pixelated visuals compared to the Versa. Now, one of the major differences between the Fitbit Versa and Apple Watch Series 4 is software and how it integrates with your smartphone and everyday life. The Apple Watch Series 4 can only be used with an iPhone, whereas the Fitbit Versa can be used with an iPhone or Android device. With Fitbit, there's only one app you need to download to check the watch's battery life, your health information, and workout information. With the Apple Watch, you have multiple apps, such as the Health app, Watch, and Activity. We think Fitbit's app is more streamlined and more detail-oriented than Apple's offering, but we think the software on the Apple Watch is far more superior than the software on the Fitbit Versa. The Apple Watch is a lot easier to use, and the overall user experience is faster, a lot cleaner, and more fluid than what you get with the Versa. The Versa's UI looks dated and lags every now and then when quickly going through menus. Now, The Apple Watch can also be used as a relay device for your iPhone to take phone calls or be used as a walkie-talkie since it has a built-in speaker and has Siri, which works great on the Series 4. The Versa can't take calls or send voice messages to your friends or ask a voice assistant to figure out what the weather is tomorrow or when your favorite team is playing next. When it comes to health and fitness, both devices excel at fitness tracking and offers nearly the same detailed information when working out and tracking daily activities. These devices offer heart rate, steps, calories, and workout tracking. They are also waterproof up to 50 meters. However, there are some features that one has that the other doesn't and vice versa. Starting off with the Apple Watch Series 4, the Series 4 has GPS built in, so if you rely heavily on this feature for your workouts, the Versa doesn't offer this. The Apple Watch also offers ECG in the US to track any abnormal measurements and potentially helping to detect AFib. There's also a fall detection feature that can be enabled if you're under the age of 65, which detects if you've taken a hard fall and will call emergency if you're unresponsive for more than a minute. But all of these features takes a toll on battery life, and unfortunately the Apple Watch Series 4's mediocre battery life only lasted a day and a half, maybe two if we're being generous using it. The Fitbit Versa on the other hand has sleep tracking, which Apple doesn't offer natively, but you can use third-party apps on the Apple Watch. However, it also features incredible battery life. Now, The Fitbit Versa can easily last 4-5 to five days of regular usage, and if you're looking for a smartwatch that you don't have to constantly plug in every night, the Versa is a top contender. The Fitbit Versa retails for $199, while the Apple Watch Series 4 at 40mm starts at $399. Now that's a pretty big jump in price and could be a big factor when deciding which is a better device for you. If you're looking for the best smartwatch in the market, the Apple Watch Series 4 is the best device out right now, but it comes with a premium price tag. However, if you're strictly looking for a great, basic fitness tracker that will go days without a charge, that happens to have some smartwatch capabilities to notify you of your missed calls or text messages, the Fitbit Versa may be the right device for you. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.